Welcome back to Paper Mario. While I refuse to acknowledge that intro, that never happened. Ooh, look how witty I am. I'm re acknowledging the intro by not acknowledging the intro. Hoo hoo, how clever. Ugh. Okay, but seriously. We're back, and we have to go to Toad Town again to deliver more things that were randomly and pointlessly stolen. I was hoping in this time I could quickly think of a witty comparison about pointless thievery. I did not, as you can tell. But regardless, let's head up here, because hopefully there'll be a thing to deliver. And if there's not, then we're all just doomed. Ah, uh, but yes, of course. The mailbag! We have that to return. Because someone stole a mailbag. I still do not know why anyone stole a mailbag. Unless they are a narcissist and just immediately assume everything is for them. But anyway, you gave that back. Get a star piece. We don't really get a reward for that, other than... Mail. And we have mail! Here's one from Goompa to Goombari. I didn't want to talk over that one, because Koompa is one of the best characters in the game. Just let his text speak for itself. And it is lovely. He has an other... Well, anyway, uh... So yeah, just, just a nice little letter from the booze. I don't know what that means. I don't know how multiple boos sent in one letter. Did they all just write a little bit of it or something? I do not know. But anyway, just a bit of reminder that we did a cool thing before. And we defeated the ultimate ghost eater. So that's a thing. But anyway, uh, is there anything else we have to return? Oh! Sweet, a panel! Panel is here somewhere. Eventually, we'll find one. And I'll have a star piece, and it'll be great. Unfortunately, I keep deciding that the grass is the only place where it could be. Which, as far as I'm aware, is entirely untrue. Where is it, anyway? Oh. Well then, maybe it is always in the grass areas. Stop talking to that person, Mario. What shall we sell? Nothing! This was productive. No, but we can take the cake mix back. For reasons. Uh, what? Where are we going now? Well, of course, we have to deliver back, uh, Give back the frying pan. So 
So let's give it back to her, which is nice. My dear frying pan. My frying pan, dear. See, he's actually married to the frying pan. This is now canon. But anyway, we got a cake! Delicious. So yeah, this is apparently a very good little cake. Hey, but we have cake mix, so... Oh, wait. So, uh, here's a minor thing I didn't realize. I just want to have two cakes with me. I don't really need a third one, honestly. Yeah, but I completely forgot that she gives you one for free. But we'll make it anyway, and we'll store the third one in storage. But, uh, first of all, actually, we... We said to cook this Koopa leaf. But with this... With this recipe, we have the Koopa tea. Which was exactly what we are supposed to give to the old Koopa back in a Koopa village. So maybe we should deliver that now. So yeah, back in Koopa village... Again! Here he is again! Chuck Quizma. So this one's easy, the Goomba King, right? Dr. Goomba, <laughs> sure. And we got so many star pieces, it's crazy. How many more star pieces are we going to get from this guy? I wonder how many times we have to uh, answer these questions. Hmm. Well, anyway, speak of long running side quest things. Let's give him those, uh, give him the tea. Delicious tea. Special gift. Huh. He has a reputation to keep. That that swine. Anyway, we got three star pieces. That's crazy. So this guy did good. Uh, yeah, this guy does give out good rewards sometimes. So that's good to see. Huzzah! We have to go. Well, we have to go back to Shy Guy's toy box. There's really nothing more to it than that. But first, how about... Yeah, we check the... something. Cake mix, right. Well, uh, with that out of the way... Out of the way, let's see... Uh, what we can do back in the toy box. We can eternally check badges. Here's your information for the day, kids. Badges exist! Ooh. I honestly couldn't tell you what I'm doing now. I put Speedy Spin on because I don't know. Because it amuses me, I guess. That's all. Back on the silly train. And back to Pink Station.
Now we have to go back this way again. But thankfully, we're just gonna avoid these enemies at this point. Finally meet back with the Shy Guy here. Gourmet Guy, as it were. And... Oh, this way, he just tells you he needs cake. So let's give him cake. Don't give him Fiona. Uh, what? What's going on? Why is the screen darker? This is so good. Oh my god. What is wrong with him? He's lost his mind. Yum. Uh. That happened? Yay. What did she put in that cake? Anyway, I found... I, I honestly did not know that was there. But it, it's just a super soda. It's not really the most important item. Still hidden blocks. But anyway, we do have a new uh, enemy in this uh, group of enemies, so guess we'll have to deal with that. Maybe if they try to dizzy dial with him, everything will work out well. Or at least the one enemy is out of the way. Yeah, I'd, I'm not exactly sure why I brought out Cooper, to be honest. I think I just wanted to get rid of uh, the Jester guys here as soon as possible. Because I'm not interested in them. I just want to see what the weird shy guy on fire is like. That's where my priority is. Thankfully, I blocked that. Because that attack is just annoying. So eventually, I just decided to jump on this guy. Which was obvious. It hit this guy at the shell, which was kind of obvious. But anyway, after that, we just have the fire guy to deal with. With some decent attack power, it seems. Let's finally tattle him. This is a pyro guy. Pyro guys are on fire. Thank you. HP 7, attack 4, defense 0. Now, how do we defeat him? I don't know. Let's use a fruit. But he's not too tough a guy. Let's just hammer him. There's some fun ways to beat him other than that. He has a certain weakness. Which will not surprise you at all, but we'll deal with that a bit later. For now, he's done, and we got some coins, as always. We found another hidden block, I believe. Either that or I somehow didn't see that block, and I need glasses. Forget the gesture, though. Just get some coins. Okay. That's a lot of coins in that block. There's gold in them blocks. Anyway, we have three of these fire guys. Sorry, pyro guys now. Guess what they're weak to? Weak to snowman, of course. Ice is cold. And it's watery. Or a form of water. In some regard, so... Eh, close enough. 
Makes sense enough. Well, you know, for a second that fire will just destroy ice. It's not... But yeah, it does extra damage if you didn't notice. Well done for it did six. Nice little damage bonus, other stuff like that in the game. To keep in mind. And we hit that switch over here. And the track just moves back to uh, a good state. It's it just literally just you flip that panel over. And suddenly the track is working. The track is there. Why would you hit that switch ever? To just it, intentionally prevent people from moving on. Why would that exist? On such a... There's only one track here. So, it's kind of weird. What now? Well, I guess we could go to the green station. Very eco-friendly, I guess. Or whatever. So, we're riding the train once again. Riding the toy train. Am I crazy or... I don't know. This sort of thing makes me think of, like, something that would be like in Willy Wonka's chocolate factory or something. Maybe that's just me, though. So we're at the next station. See, we'll see what's here. Well, I guess another panel. And, uh, this guy. <sighs> Seems that the, the book that was stole from, uh... Rust T is in this area now. So I'll have even more stuff to give back. Anyway, we found the panel right there. Got yet another star piece. I believe we've got like, what, like six star pieces in this? Anyway, what, what's with this? You hit these blocks, these colored boxes. Look kind of like a jack-in-a-box, maybe? Or something? Anyway, we just use them and there's coins. How odd. That's the thing, I guess. I don't know, what else can we do? So we continue to the right, or is this enough for one episode? You know, unless something happens, yeah, I'm gonna say this is enough for one episode. So next time on Paper Mario, we'll continue through the Shy Guys toy box. I see if we can return all the remaining, uh, Stolen items. Maybe we should save. Yeah. So I guess see you there. Mario is very confused.